Hello, welcome to Compass Cares Largemont Mamaroneck. I am here with Helene from Compass Cares. And my name is Jason Wilson. I work for Compass. I'm a senior managing director for Westchester. And we're going to talk about Compass Cares and the initiative of Compass Cares from a national level, local level, and what we do, and even how we support here at LMC TV as well. So the first question I have for you is, Helene, thank you very much for coming today. <laughs> coming up from the city, how was the commute up? Easy train ride. Easy train ride. Right to the Largemont train station, right? That's right. It's one of the benefits of living here in Largemont is having that convenient basically train ride, commute ride every day going down to the city. So, all right, so the first thing I'm going to ask you is can you tell everyone what you do and what you're currently working out on right now at yeah, Compass? Yeah, of course. Thanks, Jason, for that introduction. And thank you, LMC TV, for giving us the opportunity to really talk about the program that I feel very fortunate to lead here at Compass, which is Compass Cares, our national philanthropy program. Um, you know, at Compass, our mission is to help everyone find their place in the world. And I know that I found my place in the world because the very heartbeat of this company is service. And everything that we do here at Compass is on a mission to improve the lives of everyone we serve. And we improve the lives of the buyers and sellers in our communities by placing our incredible agents at the very core of our business. We improve the lives of the buyers and sellers in our local communities by placing our incredible agents at the very center and core of our business. And we improve the lives of the individuals in the communities that we serve through Compass Cares by turning local knowledge into local impact and identifying meaningful ways to give back to our communities through our time, through our skills, and through our resources. Did you get a teleprompter? Because I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, so finding your place in the world, my question to you is, so Compass has been around about seven years right now. So how long have you been with Compass? I've been with Compass for a little over a year and a half. Okay. Yeah, I've been with Compass. That'll be a year next week, actually. So it's amazing. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations to yourself as well. <laughs> All right. So let's. Can you tell me a little bit more about Compass Cares? What yeah. it is, and just dive in a little bit, a little bit deeper, and then we'll dive more in the local level next. Yeah, for sure. So Core to Compass Cares is really empowering the local giving of our employees and agents. But also core to Compass Cares is our commitment to give back around 100% of real estate transactions. That's right, 100% of Compass transactions result in donations back to our local communities, whether that transaction is a sale or a rental. And we do that through our Compass agents because we truly believe that no one knows the needs of a community better than the agents and employees who serve it every, other, every single day. And we wanna really empower those individuals to give back to the causes that need it the most in those local communities. And guess what? Since we've launched, every single office in all 20 major US cities that we operate in has given back to their community. And that's resulted in some incredible incredible impact. In seven short months, we've been able to give back $3.7 million in value of time and donations. We volunteered 16,000 hours. Wow. And we've supported over 1,900 local organizations through our program. And we're just getting started. And while those are some really big numbers, what really inspires me and motivates me every single day is not those numbers that we can report out, but truly the local impact stories that we can tell every single day. So what's amazing to me is that I've worked for other, you know, real estate companies that have been in Westchester my whole life is that you're empowering the agents to help out on the local level, which unfortunately sometimes when you, some of these national companies, these very large real estate companies, they have one national company that they go behind and that's it. So what's amazing is how many organizations you guys have touched you're empowering the agents to touch those local organizations, which is amazing. And then just the results already in just seven months is just unheard of. So congratulations on Thank that. Thank you. Thank you. And so how big is your team at Compass? Um, well, I'm a team of one, but this program, to your point, is actually locally champion. So we have over 70 local Compass Cares champions across the country that in a very political, grassroots campaign kind of way, are truly building the spirit of this program and leading to these incredible on-the-ground results. 
Yeah, I mean, our two champions alone, Jesse and Heather, have just done an unbelievable job between Westchester and Connecticut on the local level. So it's been exciting. You guys picked the right people to, to run this. So, <laughs> I couldn't agree more. Region. Jesse and Heather are incredible. Yeah, they've done an amazing job. All right, so on the local event side, so what are events that Compass Cares have organized in our region? So like, what are some of them that we've done in our region? And just from a regional standpoint, our region, the way we look at it from a Compass standpoint, it's New York City, the Hamptons, Westchester, and Connecticut. So those are our four regions. So when you're speaking about that, that's what we're gonna be talking about now. Yeah, exactly. So across the New York region, there's two pretty big events that come to mind. The first was kind of when we were first getting started, um, and it was our Bull for a Cause event, in which we identified eight Dream Big captains to pick teams and then select a cause that they would collectively fundraise for. And those captains and those teams were able to raise over $13,000 to support some incredible um, organizations like Change for Kids and UNCF. Uh, a more recent example, to your point, that touches on our offices from the Hamptons to Manhattan to Brooklyn to Connecticut uh, to right here at Westchester was our New York Region Professional Clothing Drive, in which all of our offices collaborated and came together to to collect 25 50 gallon garbage bags and several dozen boxes of clothing to support an incredible organization uh, called Bottomless Closet that we're really excited to continue to collaborate with. That's amazing. I mean, just I just know from an example of the professional clothing, that just makes a big difference. You know, when you buy that new shirt and it's new suit, but having that opportunity to go on that interview and have that suit, have that clothing, and when you're coming back into the workforce or, you know, just had some tough times and getting back in the workforce. And you had talked about another organization as well. Mm -hmm. I think it was Career Closet, which was another organization. Yeah, so even within that very regional effort, we were able to support some incredible additional local organizations just due to how much professional clothing we were actually able to uh, collect. And one of those organizations was Career Closet, which is right here uh, in this local community. So they do incredible work empowering women who have gone through tremendous hardships and are now looking to re-enter the, the workforce by identifying interviews, but also setting them up for success in the context of those job interviews. And going back to the bull for a cause, I'm a little competitive, so I know that the team that my my local team was involved with were the ones that won. That's right. So they got an initial donation from the company as well towards their cause, which was absolutely amazing. So yeah, that exactly. was a fun event. We were lucky to be able to um, match the top three donations, um, actually through a partnership that we have with Accenture. So Accenture was really excited by the initiative and to support this type of event and actually match the top three fundraisers of which one of the teams were from right here in Westchester. It was great. Um, so what have we done on the Westchester side with Compass Cares? Yeah, so as you mentioned, Heather and Jesse are incredible Compass Cares champions, but they're really supported by pretty inspiring agents and employees um, who have really helped them identify and source really strategic partnerships. And one of those incredible partnerships is Hope Community Services in New Rochelle, where we have come together to collect coats to help workers and homelessness in need, where we've also brought together employees and agents to collectively serve meals at their local soup kitchen. And we're right now, we're actually in the process of doing a food drive for um, to help local families in need during the holiday season. So that's just one example. Another great and amazing organization that we partner with is Lifting Up Westchester, where our employees and agents have both decorated and packaged sandwiches for students and children in need. And I'm proud to say that another incredible partner is LMC TV, where our agents have actually chosen to donate their Compass Cares rewards so that we can continue to fund the incredible work that this team does uh, with those rewards dollars that we're giving our agents. And going back, just a quick shout out to Heather with the Hope for the Homeless, yeah. or Hope Community Center, sorry, Hope Community Center in New Rochelle, was Hope that she Services. started, she actually started having, having agents and employees uh, volunteer their time to serve meals I was, I've been here a year, so since the time I've been here, probably even prior to that. So before even the Compass Care Initiative, she was already starting the initiative locally in our Westchester market of 
doing events like that, so. Yeah, that's right, and I think this goes back to the idea that service is really at the heart of what we do here at Compass, and Compass Cares is really our way of both empowering and amplifying the incredible work that our agents and employees are already doing to give back in their local communities. That's great. Um, what is Compass Cares' overall goal in money raised for the charity? So. One of our big entrepreneurial principles by Robert Rifkin, our CEO, is dream big, which we know he has very big goals and mm -hmm. dreams very big. So what is his big goal for this? Yeah, so when Robert, our CEO, first announced Compass Cares back in April 2019, he had set for us a $10 million goal to give back to our local communities. And I mentioned earlier that we are certainly on our way, but that is a very Compass dream big type of goal and there is certainly still work that we need to do to achieve that goal. But what motivates me and excites me and doesn't scare me by that, that number is honestly the local lives that we'll continue to touch in these communities and the strategic partnerships that we'll develop along the way with our neighbors in order to achieve that goal. And I'm excited to announce that from a national and programmatic uh, perspective, we're also going to be developing some exciting moments for us to all come together next year. One of those is going to be Compass Cares Day, which is going to be our first collective day of service in which all 18,000 agents and employees in all 20 major markets across all 320 offices come together to identify and meet the local needs of our communities. Now, imagine the impact that we can have when we bring that type of human power to collectively address those needs. I think that's pretty inspiring. That is inspiring. Um, so we're incredibly excited about that potential. We truly believe here at Compass that once we found our place in the world, it's our responsibility to make it a better place one community at a time. Well, you're doing an incredible job. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much for everything I mean, between <laughs> making it easy for us to donate to the portal that, you know, there's different causes that have come up. Like uh, we had the storms and we had stuff in Texas. We had the fires in California and just kind of seeing the rallying across the country of everybody and just making it very easy. Um, you know, over the years working for other companies, it never was so easy to make that donation. It was where's the link, where's the link, but to have that main portal and everything's just right there at their fingertips has just been unbelievable, so great job. Awesome, and thank you for your leadership in bringing the team together around some of these incredible initiatives. It's my pleasure. Um, so I'm gonna flip this now, and you're gonna become the host now. <laughs> it's and you're my turn ask, to ask yeah, you some questions, questions yes. right? Yep. Awesome, well, why don't we start with, I know you touched on this a little bit, but kind of what your role is here at Compass Real Estate. So my role at Compass here is I'm the Senior Managing Director of Westchester, which is just a title. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm really the sales manager and I cover three locations. I cover Westchester, Rybrook, Rye, and uh, Largemont. So those mm -hmm. are my three locations. So that's how we ended up this oppor great opportunity. Thanks to uh, one of our great agents, Peggy Jackson, who brought this opportunity to us for LMC to be here today. Um, and that came from our Largemont office. Um, as for just in general, my goal every day is just to help our agents grow their business. I meet with clients as well. I like to help agents uh, with their agent development as well and help them build, be better on the sales perspective of the business. But I'm very statistical too, so I like the numbers and really getting to know the community. Um, that's kind of what I like about the real estate perspective, so. That's awesome. And yeah. on the note of the community, are you from Westchester? Yes, so uh, I've been here 40 years. Wow. Um, so I grew up in Yonkers, um, and then I had a business that I started when I was 21 in, in Thornwood, and then eventually when I got married and had kids, we moved up to Yorktown, so I live in northern Westchester, which everybody from southern Westchester calls it upstate. Um, it's not upstate, Syracuse <laughs> and, and you know Albany are right, right, right around the corner. Um, but love Westchester, uh, like I said, I've been here my whole life and raising my family, my two sons here. 13 and 15, and it's just a great overall community. What's great about Westchester just in general is you can buy something for 200,000 or $25 million. It's, it's kind of all over the place, and almost every town and village um, or city kind of has its own character and charm, and it's you know almost 500 square miles, so wow. Westchester's just an amazing community, so. And so I guess that means I have to ask, how's the market here? <laughs> So the market-wise, um, in the county is down just a little bit, but w Largemont in general, 
um, has a lot to offer between the water, the easy commute as you came up from the city <laughs> today from the train. Um, on the large PO side, um, units are up about four and a half percent. Dollar volumes up around six point three. Large PO and then Mamaronic, the school district which has Large built into it, is about two point nine percent. It's up in units and about the sales volumes down about two percent. I would say overall, just Large Mamaronic in the lower Westchester market has its has a lot of great flavor because it's got restaurants, shops, nightlife, it's got the commute, um, it, the water's here. So there's a lot of great things that, that have kind of kept this market just humming mm -hmm. while other markets have had their, you know, they go there, have their ups and downs. But Mamaronic, Largemont, and then if we take Rynek, Rynek's down a little bit by from the school district side in dollar volume. Like I was explaining to you before, here in Westchester, unfortunately, our zip codes don't match our school districts per se. So people, we all, when people are shopping in this market here, it's all based on school district. Um, but overall, I would say the market is doing well. Um, there's some interesting trends that are going on in the market, just in general of what buyers are looking for. Uh, but I'd say the market overall is doing well. Tell me more about those trends. What are some home buying trends that you're seeing? So the trends, you know, uh, Doing this now for about 14 years now, and you know, going from when I started in 05 to or to now, uh, buyers would accept, let's say, houses that need work. Um, and what you hear today is buyers saying everything needs to be gutted, like everything has to be mm. brand spanking new. And I think they're spoiled by HGTV and TLC mm. that they think that no matter what their budget is, they're going to open up the door and they're going to say, "This one's been waiting for you," and like <laughs> everything is just going to be done for them. Uh, but that's not really the case. Um, I see less vision. So when I would hear years ago when I was on the sales side about staging, 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 it's just like, nah, I don't, people are not going to spend the money. But today, staging is extremely important. Neutralizing the house, you know, taking, you know, per, you know personal photos down. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I remember one time showing a house and there was a photo of a celebrity that was on there and the agent called me for feedback and she was like, what do you think of the house? And I was like, uh, which house was it again? And then what happened was the the celebrity was such a distraction of the pictures and all the other stuff. And there was memorabilia throughout the house that the buyer and even the agent, myself, were more distracted on that. And the house wasn't remembered as itself. It was more of a distraction because mm. of everything else that was in there. From a tread standpoint, it's really about first impression. Um, there's no, well, let's just sell it as is. It's That's not really what you need to really do. You need to make sure that you have a person come in, a professional stager, look at the house, make a recommendation what needs to be done to the home. And we have a program with Compass called um, Compass Concierge, which basically we up, we upfront the money for the homeowner as like a cash flow, just so that they don't have to worry about it. They'll pay it at closing. Mm -hmm. But with Compass Concierge, what's great about it is we'll get all that stuff done and the homeowner doesn't have to lay anything out of pocket mm -hmm. um, to get the house prepared, get it ready to go, marketed. Um, you know, simple things like, you know, Colors changed. I, I mean, I bought my house in 14 and we have a lot of tans. And now I'm here with my wife, we need to switch to the grays. So it's just, it's amazing how things are changing. But from a trend standpoint, people want walkability. They want to commute. So that's why Large Mount Romaranek is and Rynek are very popular because walkability, they want the nightlife. So if they're leaving the city, they want to be able to have that nightlife. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Northern Westchester, you have to drive everywhere. Um, you know, it's not a walkable, but down in southern Westchester is very walkable. You have the train station. So those are kind of the trends. Um, another interesting just trend, like talking about how things have changed is Greenwich is a good example where backcountry, which was like all the estate areas, was extremely popular. But now everything close to the village, close to town, is now actually doing better than the backcountry is. Interesting. So people want to be close to people, mm -hmm. you know. So some people want a cookie cutter. They want to be in a community. Um, and they just they want they don't want to be you know out there on a farm with multiple acres like you're just you're not seeing that backyards they they want big yard backyards for their dogs maybe but there's not <laughs> they're not running to say like I want this big yard it's more mm -hmm. of what's inside the house they want smart homes they want you know or just some of the smart home technology you mm -hmm. know simple as putting a ring doorbell on the outside of the door <laughs> and make sure you have good Wi-Fi and those kinds of things but the trends are open floor plan in very neutral colors, um, you know, that's basically what they're looking for. And then we're starting to see some trends on the outdoor kitchens more and more hmm. that that is something that people want. They want to bring the, you know, the inside to the outside as Interesting. well. Interesting. 
Well, that'll yeah. let them use their back door space. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> awesome. They might, they actually might consume the whole outdoor space more to that <laughs> patio in that area that's there. Awesome. Well, thank you, Jason, uh, for sharing all those really interesting trends. Maybe I'll have to consider changing that commute into a more permanent stay here in Larchmont. So you've been from the city the whole time, right? Or where, where are you originally from? That's right. I'm a born and bred New Yorker, but okay. specifically in Manhattan. Okay. Yeah, so the drive, the actual commute wasn't that bad coming up here today. 40 minutes. Put me on a postcard. I'll tell anyone. Okay, good. <laughs> well, thank you, Aline. Thank you for your time today. Um, also, thank you, LMC TV, for the opportunity. And to kind of kick off the fundraising for LMC TV, I am going to be going into our Compass portal, CARES portal today, and putting donating $100 myself towards the fundraising for LMC TV as well. So That's incredible. Are you going to post about it on your social media and encourage some other agents to do it as well? Yes, I will hashtag. Inst <laughs> I'll do it on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. I'll do it on all the, all my social handles. So. That's what I like to hear. Well, so. have a happy holidays, everyone. And have a happy holidays, thank everyone. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank you, LMC TV. Have a great day.